a special sitting of the THA to elect a deputy chief secretary, and the man who vacated the position was having seating issues. Protocol officers ushering him to sit with the PNM. Watson Duke eventually took his usual seat next to the Chief Secretary, Farley Augustine. On to the business of the day, Presiding Officer Abby Taylor declaring the post of Deputy Chief Secretary vacant and asking for nominations. I wish to nominate for the position of Deputy Chief Secretary, Assemblyman Dr. Faith B. Israel. But it was not a unanimous decision, as Minority Leader Calvin Morris had his own nominee in mind. Madam Presiding Officer, I wish to nominate Mr. Watson Solomon Duke. However, it could not be seconded by Petal Daniel Benoit, as she is not an elected member of the House. With there be no other nominations, I now declare Dr. Faith B. Israel the duly elected Deputy Chief Secretary. And now that he's appointed a new deputy, Chief Secretary Farley Augustine is now planning to take Watson Duke to court for allegations of corruption Duke made against him. The pre-action protocol letter is being prepared as we speak. Uh, the, the full video clipping of his presentation on the 15th, along with an official transcript was done, and the lawyers are preparing the documents. Augustine also says he knows what is behind the allegations being made against him. I have uh, not just reliable information, but irrefutable evidence that a lot of this is sponsored by those who do not want to see me bring before the Tobago public matters concerning the audit report. He says, nevertheless, this report will be brought to the House on Thursday. The Chief Secretary is also not concerned about possible legal challenges to the appointment of a new deputy. All lawyers with sense um, and any knowledge of law has dismissed as a nuisance uh, the letter that came in the dead of night seeking to, to stop the sitting today. If those lawyers had any um, grounds to stand on, they would have gone to court bright and early this morning to seek injunctive relief. And the fact that that did not happen tells you that they are making an argument for form over substance, which holds no water when it comes to law. He says, as it stands, he and all the people behind him remain members of the PDP and have not yet visited the Election and Boundaries Commission to register a new party. Chester Sambrano, CNC3 News.